Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to know that I truly appreciate you so, so much. Um, I appreciate the subscribers um, that truly support the channel. I want you guys to know I really do. Um, as we commentate about a plethora of stuff, okay, we 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 get in here, we talk about everything. I know sometimes I'll be a little behind on some other stuff. That's why I was telling my subscribers, um, because I do be so busy in the comments when I, you know, if something exclusive comes up, email me or uh, put it in my comments, right? You know, when the, like I responded on did a video uh, yesterday actually about what about T.I. and Charleston White and it's kind of interesting to me you know um, and one of my subscribers I cannot think of her name said Miss T I was reading the comments this morning she's like Miss T you should see the uh, comment that T.I. Uh, made to Charleston White so it prompted me shout out to that subscriber, I, you know what? I'll I be like it to give my subscribers uh, their flowers. So I want to see which subscriber that was so that I can give her a shout out. I it's, it's hard for me to ever remember really anything sometimes. You know what I mean? Because I'll be having so much going on. But I'm going to uh, give her a shout out because it is because of her. Um that I um actually that brought me to this video okay I'm gonna be looking for her name as I get into the content but I wanted to talk about you know T.I. did another response to Charleston White and a lot of people feel like he had you know gotten some humble pie okay and when I looked at it I knew immediately T.I. is manipulative I knew exactly what he was trying to do. T.I. low down too. I I liked T.I.'s music, you know, Rubber Band Man. Uh, uh, Steph Williams. Yeah, it was Miss Steph Williams. Shout out to Miss Steph Williams. Uh, uh, Steph Williams. Okay. Uh, it is, I, I think Steph is for even, well, it could be a male. Steph is for Stephanie or Steven. So um, shout out to Steph Williams for, for um, notifying me about the new comment. Because I be busy all the time into my, this, it's supposed to really be my down season, but I actually have picked up a lot of work. But um, when I looked at the video, okay, and I'm getting ready to show it, uh, people like him, I, I, I can't do. <laughs> and I'm serious. I cannot, I cannot stand a manipulative person. I, I, I can't stand a manipulative person. Okay, I'm just, okay, hold on, let me see. Why did they yesterday? Because I meditate and I pack circumstances. Uh, it, 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 it dies on. This is the second time I've seen my family attack. Seen social media weaponized used against us by the enemy. It's the second time. Both times I watched the community have absolutely nothing to say on our behalf. I watched friends or people who we say are friends. I watched people who we have donated our time, effort, energy, resources, attention to. Look on as not just me, no, my family, my wife, my children, uh, tech, and the people that we go outside of our, outside of our, our, our convenience, go out our way to help whether it's calling us for, for people who can't afford to feed themselves, people who can't afford to house themselves, 
families who can't afford to bury their loved ones, people who can't afford to build themselves at, you know, or just people who need inspiration, just need to be poured into. None of these organizations, none of the leaders of these different communities, nobody, nobody thought to stand up, speak on my family's behalf when we being attacked. Nobody. Never. Not once. All right. That where we at with it. Let's let it stay up. I can't stand a nigga like him. <laughs> I'm telling y'all that right now. Uh, he's so used to manipulating and getting over on Tiny. He thinks that work for everybody else. Now, he's sitting up throwing out what he does for other people. And these people have not done anything. That's trying to really make people feel guilty and get a, become afraid, you know, especially if he's housing people. Hell, it's a damn tax write-off. He's not doing it out of the kindness of his heart. Um, uh, hell, look at all these charges that just kind of went away you know um and i'm not sure really sure what happened with those charges um i have to look at that i don't know if it's still going on people was paid off you know uh it's let's let's just be clear now it ain't like he's some type of role model look at how one of the reasons that i really started feeling a certain way about him even though you know she might seem to have a scattered brain sometimes was because regardless to what his wife seemed to have been riding with him and he kind of treated her the worst, you know? So now he's throwing out these organizations that he's getting, giving money to, um, uh, friends that, that, you know, he's helped all these people that he, he references the people that he has helped financially because he wants to bring them into it, uh, these groups or whatever. He's really trying to incite a riot because he knows that there's strength in numbers, right? So he's mad because he's really trying to trick people into getting getting, you know, getting into this and going at Charleston White. Okay? He's what you would call a manipulative rich person. I did this for you. You can't go out and do this for me. This is what's happening, you know, every single day. This is how people who don't really have anything um, if hell, if he's housing them, if he's housing these people, uh, if he's helping people to, to uh, giving helping people to eat hell, they got they got bigger fish to fry than to be trying to fight Charleston White for him. These folks looking, they gotta have somebody else to help them eat. So they really got bigger problems other than his, you know, defending his son. Okay. Now he referenced, you know, you know, his family has been defamed. Come on now, Tia, you are not a victim. You was something went on with them girls. I, I just don't know what it was. I, I don't know. I don't necessarily believe everything that they said, but something went on. Okay. Okay. Something went on. So, you know, um, I really think what he's trying to do is inside a riot. King and them are bad as hell. And I'm not saying that I agree with, with everything that Charleston White is doing. I've, I've never said that. King is 18 years old. I don't agree with people talking about other people's children. I do not agree with that. Okay? I don't. But at the same time, you know, uh, T.I. stepped in. He handled that. I would respect him more if he had stood up because I've done it. Okay? For my kids, my daughter had a best friend and her mama was ghetto fabulous and they the best friend i bought her school clothes i had basically raised her because she would say miss miss tamra i feel so comfortable because her mama had so many kids she just had them scattered out everywhere so she was my daughter's best friend uh i guess her mama thought she was playing me but she was not playing me it was that we love the child and I saw what kind of mama she had. And when we uh, we would be out, she was such a good child at that point, buying school clothes and stuff for my girls. I, I was not going to let a child sit there and want, okay? She didn't even have underwear, okay? We took care of all that. I raised her, basically. 
And so when they got older, they got into it and get and, and ghetto fabulous mama, who I had basically raised child. Hell, I didn't know these folks. She just came, spent the night at a slumber party one day. That's why I say my daughter had a slumber party. She never went home. Okay. When she was in the seventh grade. And ghetto fabulous mama decides she going to get in it. And cuss my child out, cuss my baby out. Her best friend. Now these were best friends, children. Okay. And I'll never forget, I was sitting at my desk at the sheriff's office and I politely got up. It was in the wintertime. I said, You hold on, bitch. I'll call you right back. Cause I called her. I said, Did you did you they they into it but you know they friends did you cuss yeah i cussed her i called her a bitch what you gonna do about it i said you hold right on i'm answer the phone when i call you back because i gotta go out to my car i cussed that bitch from here to milwaukee okay so i understand you know when folks you know get into it uh, say something about your kids. Your kids are your kids. Even when they 40, 50 years old, those are mine. But T.I. had handled that. Why is he trying to incite a riot? Why is he trying to pull other people in there? You talking about people that you helped. Evidently, they're less fortunate. He want to get them all riled up and make their lives even worse. See, this is, this is the type of manipulative stuff that people do that I don't like. He's so used to getting people to do his dirty work. Now he's basically trying to bully people that he has helped into getting involved. Hell, these folks got to worry about these people that's homeless. Why would you get them and want them to get involved just because you know their strength in numbers in your mess with your son? You his daddy. You said something to Charleston Wright. You say, don't, just let's not forget we ain't on the same level. If he is not on the same level as you because you got money, you claim i guess that's that's what you mean because you call yourself got money and you saying that your your uh status is different than his why are you even addressing him why are you why did you even allow your son to address him if if you feel like he is beneath you all because you have more money right so i you know i don't understand that but I want to go on to a bit, you know, but, I, but I, you know, T.I. went, hey, Rubber Band Man, I ain't going to tell no lies, was my favorite song. So y'all know I'm old school because Rubber Band Man is in the, in the uh, rotation when I'm on the treadmill. It just gets me going. It's one of the ones that's the Rubber Band Man. But T.I. himself, his, his, his character is i don't care for okay i i just don't i don't care for and i don't mean no harm but you know it is allegedly you know well i ain't gonna say that let, let me not say that because I, I don't want to make this into that okay i'm gonna keep it about him and charleston white so then charleston white <coughs> oh excuse me you guys he goes on and he says something. Uh, now, Charleston cusses quite a bit. Family's got, got to crash, crash out because he said something about, about my baby. baby. Me and I'm not. Me and my family, me and my family, me and my family ain't for the crash, crash out because the motherfucker said something about my baby. baby. Now, for motherfucker in my baby's face saying, you look bitch, you look bitch ass nigga, that's a different story. A, a motherfucker, motherfucker online calling my boy peanut head, cross eyed, cock eyed, platypus mouth, pad leather black, Kodak black ugly. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, we're not, we not crashing out of there. I'm not, I'm not, any family member crash out of some shit like that. We ain't sending no commentary money down. He got to find him a park. Crash out of something that stupid, he got to find him a park down. So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. So, yeah, yeah, this nigga T.I. ain't ready to crash out of here. He said something about, about my son. Then your son said he'll kick my ass. And, and he, he sent it to me from his IP address, from his personal Instagram, Instagram page. Lil Boosie and them sons say, hey, we'll do this to you. Man, them people make threats. 
See, and if you can make a threat, I ain't made it. I'm just high side bullshit, you know, call the motherfucker ugly, you know, yellow boy, yellow help, you know, all this shit like. And you know what? I want to stop it right there. He is telling the truth. I I don't necessarily agree with that. People get mad, you know. I, like I just what I I just said. You know what I mean? Because even now, nobody. Uh, I'm gonna say something if somebody says something about my children, but I'm gonna handle it. Okay. You know, I, but you know, my mom and them, they get sent, you know, they'll get into my sister them because they think my kids are theirs and they are because we all join at the hip. Okay. But to try and incite a riot, no, because see, when I, it, and they might not even have to get in because when I get to cussing and going on, okay. Hey, it, it, I, I'm finished with it. I lay it out there and I'm finished with it. Okay, but to be talking, but but to be sending threats, um, you know, just because somebody says something about you, that's, you know, that's that's crazy, you know, that's crazy. And the shit that uncle say at the family union, what a boy, you know, niggas, you met some uncles in the cones right now. Be it to have friendship, what a boy, on none of this here. Believe me. Tootie don't want none of this here. That boy been molested. Tootie been molested, man. Tootie battling with sex identity crisis. That boy daddy got him molested at an early age in life. Man, little boys is not supposed to get a dick sucking early, especially about the kind of women his daddy was fucking with. So little Tootie fucked up, y'all. So little Tootie don't want to go back and forth with me. Okay. Um... Somebody supposed to call CPS on Boosie, getting that little boy molested. Hey, hey, I can't disagree with him on that. I, I, I can't because I can remember when that was out in the media, you know, um, and, you know, he was he put that out there that he was going to get his son a prostitute. Somebody was supposed to call CPS. I mean, what Charleston White just trolling and and you know it makes you mad it's not enough to want to threaten somebody but i don't understand how people feel like what charles and white is doing is worse than that i absolutely agree with him on that cps was supposed to be called sometimes i think we put our energy in the wrong places i don't even though we get mad about our kids now but i'm not going to incite a riot okay I don't know if Boosie have said anything or, or responded to Charleston White. Okay. Y'all let me know if he has. But with T.I., T.I. T.I. brings a different energy. He's so used to manipulating that woman he got. And I guess people around him. Then now he's even talking about friends. He wants some of his celebrity friends to step in. And he, he really want to punish Charleston White. He wants to exert his authority, right? He knows that Charleston White, if he talking about hits and things of that nature, because he did kind of throw that out there. You know, um, when he put into the atmosphere, I got family and friends that are, I die about this. Nobody said nothing. So I, his ego is hurting him. Nobody said nothing. I said, I got family and friends. Ain't nobody saying nothing on the internet. They ain't trolling. Ain't nobody willing to go to jail for T.I.? Just because King feelings hurt or whatever. He's he's King's father. He stepped up and said he handled that, I guess. And then he should have left it alone because he said they're in another class. But now he want to put pressure on the people that he said that they've been feeding these folks homeless. They got they they got things, other things to worry about, like trying to have a shelter over their head. Okay. He's talking about that he they helped. To, to feed people with no food. I guess he's one of those organizations that are over there to get all these people that's already struggling together to come out to go against Charleston White because he's giving them money because, for a tax write-off and put more stress on their life when they got bigger fish and more important things to be worried about like surviving. This nigga crazy as hell. Now y'all see why I don't care for his personality. 
he's manipulative. That's manipulation. And he's trying to use his money to do it. It's wrong. And as I said before, I don't agree with everything that Charles and White says. He has some good points. You know, uh, uh, Boosie, it Boosie did, I did do that. I remember when Boosie put that out, said he's going to do that for his son's birthday as far as a prostitute. We should have been calling the CPS. It ain't nothing honorable about that. Okay. Okay. And and I okay. Let me leave that alone. But y'all, you know, a lot of people think that you know TI is being humble. No, he ain't being humble, he being manipulative. He's trying to incite a riot to have people trolling and going at Charleston White. Okay. And he's basically threatening, well, I'm not gonna help y'all no more since y'all won't say nothing. Y'all won't do it. So then if he's given a certain amount of money for a tax write-off to organizations, they're supposed to get these people that's already ready, broke and busted and disgusted. And I say that with love because they got bigger fish to fry. They're homeless. You help people with shelter. These people already have issues. You want them to fight your damn battles, nigga. You, you selfish and evil. We have to feed the homeless. Hell, I have to feed the homeless. These people have other things to worry about than an internet beef with your rich son who ain't never worried about a meal or a shelter. And basically, he trolls the internet. Okay? So anyways, he's trying to incite a riot. I see exactly what he's doing. He's trying to make his friends feel guilty. Y'all got the influence. They got rich friends. People would listen to them. Everybody go against Charleston White. And I'm not saying that Charleston White is right, but I see what T.I. is doing. But T.I. said, he said that on another video. Let's not get this confused. We are not on the same level. Why are you addressing it? Okay, tell King not to address him. I got this. I addressed it. I'm back to living my rich life because he ain't on my level anyway, according to you. But instead, you want to bring other people in and bully them basically in a subtle way. Okay, we've, we've been inconvenienced by helping y'all because y'all are in a bad situation. Let's keep it like this. I ain't going to help you no more because you ain't doing what I want you to do. That works for Tiny. It don't work for everybody else. And he need the community hell more than anybody. He he helping a lot of the people in the community. He just he just doing giving back to the community that helped to make his ass rich. He don't think he you know need to give something. He ought to feel good doing it. But he says it's an inconvenience, you know, helping the homeless and and feeding the the needy that 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 um that that don't can't feed themselves he says the inconvenience so it ain't from the heart anyways it's for a tax right off okay so he don't need to get no awards for that he said he didn't want to do it anyways but anyways you guys that's exactly what he's trying to do he's trying to incite a riot and he's trying to use in intimidation really i'm not gonna help y'all no more since y'all won't do what i want y'all to do ti is a grown man he said he would put his foot up his butt he defended his son uh he need, get his wife on there to do it she got celebrity why he trying to pull everybody else in his wife has a big following and she is a celebrity both of them together that's king is their son okay and I could see if it was something really, really serious. But this is all about trolling on the internet. That's all. Okay. That's it. That's all. But anyways, you guys, I want you guys to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Um, If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely do a cash via cash app or hit the heart button up under the video. It says thanks. Um, Talk with you guys later.